It's a truth, y'all, some lessons you can't learn solo. They only come alive in community. To truly blossom, to reach your full potential, you gotta learn from those around you. Think about it. Forgiveness, it's a lesson taught through relationships. You can't grasp that on your own. Loyalty, love, these are lessons learned in the company of others. Kindness, faithfulness, graciousness, unselfishness. You can't master these virtues without others. Truth be told, the most crucial life lessons demand that we engage in relationships with others. You can't go it alone. If you're aiming to build your potential, you gotta learn from others. And where's the best place for that? In God's family, in the body of Christ, in the church. Ephesians 4.16 tells us, he makes the whole body fit together perfectly. As each part does its own special work, it helps the other parts grow. LT. You need the folks God put in your life. And guess what? They need you too. God designed us to need and learn from each other so we can become the people he intended us to be. We need each other, folks. Yes, we surely do. A divine plan, a divine purpose, and divine people. The Holy Trinity working in tandem to shape your path. God's vision is not a solitary journey, it's a community effort. The body of Christ, after all, is more than just an ear or a mouth. We're not meant to be alone as shown in Genesis when God deemed Adam alone and created a helper for him. Even in a world devoid of sin, Adam needed company. So in a world tainted with sin, how much more do we need each other? The Holy Spirit may always be with us, but we need the human touch, the human connection. God designed us to draw destiny from one another. Wisdom walks with the wise, and like iron sharpens iron, we hone each other. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. In my journey, I found my tribe through shared humor, a seemingly trivial trait, but it was a sign from God. Those who laughed at goat noises, they were my people, my tribe. God won't force you to choose your people. He'll present them to you, but the choice is yours. So choose wisely, choose with love and remember, you're never alone in this journey. God has a plan, a purpose, and he has your people. Ever wondered how powerful the feeling of companionship can be? Or how starkly loneliness can cast its shadow? Indeed, companionship plays a remarkable role in our lives, offering us comfort, support, and a sense of belonging. In this video, we're going to share some insightful suggestions on how to alleviate feelings of loneliness and foster companionship, particularly for a friend who might be experiencing this. First off, consider encouraging your friend to become involved in church activities. This can either be attending services at a local church or participating in online church communities. These platforms offer a sense of belonging and spiritual support that can be incredibly uplifting. Next, joining Christian groups can also be beneficial. Whether it's online forums, social media communities, or local meetups, these spaces provide an opportunity to engage in discussions, share experiences, and form connections with people who share similar beliefs. Another excellent suggestion involves partnering up for Bible study. Joining a Bible study group, either in person or online, not only deepens one's faith but also opens avenues for forming meaningful relationships with others who share similar spiritual interests. Volunteering is another way to foster companionship and ward off feelings of loneliness. It's not just about contributing to a greater cause. Volunteering also offers opportunities to meet new people and form lasting friendships. Finding a prayer partner can be a transformative experience. Sharing concerns, praying together and offering mutual support can strengthen faith and build a supportive relationship, proving to be a powerful antidote to loneliness. Exploring online ministry platforms can also prove beneficial. Various websites and apps focus on building faith and community, providing individuals with the chance to connect with mentors, join virtual prayer groups, and participate in faith-based discussions. Finally, Suggest your friend to spend some time in self-reflection and journaling. Reflecting on one's faith journey can offer clarity, identify areas of spiritual growth, and provide an outlet for expressing feelings. To summarize, companionship and a sense of belonging can be powerful tools in combating loneliness. Encourage your friend to become more involved in church activities, join Christian groups, partner up for Bible study, volunteer, 
find a prayer partner, explore online ministry platforms, and spend time in self-reflection and journaling. Remember, your role as a supportive friend can make a significant impact. Encourage him to take small steps and be patient on this journey. Your care and guidance can be a beacon of light in his life.